Hi, welcome back to Reading Euphoria. Today's video, I'm going to be filming my June wrap up. So all of the books that I read in the month of June. Um, I only read three books in the month of June. I actually was quite disappointed with that because I went away on holiday. So I thought that I would read a lot more on holiday, but holiday was just kind of like non-reading time. It was really weird. I, I finished like one of my books. I read like maybe half a book, maybe a whole book on holiday, but not actually as much as what I was expecting to read but I'm not complaining I had an amazing holiday and I had a great time with my friends so that's just what was meant to happen so that's absolutely fine I had a lovely time away so I don't need to have my head in a book the whole time I can just have fun so yeah so I read three books so I'm just going to give you my opinions of them and hopefully it will inspire you to go and read them and or if not if you don't like the sound of them then that's absolutely fine as well so I hope that you enjoyed this video so the first book that I read in the month of June is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia I was so excited when I saw this book in Waterstones I haven't ever seen it in one I've only ever seen it on Amazon so I was so excited when I had to pick it up I've seen it obviously a lot on booktube and that so it's been really really hyped about a lot so I knew that I had to get myself a copy. But this book is based on the character of Eliza and she suffers a lot with um, mental health and anxiety and she finds it really really hard in school. Yeah she doesn't really talk a lot um, only really with her best friend who's gone off to another school. They're joining like the sixth form um, is what I kind of gathered from it um, in relation to the UK. Um, so yeah and she then she then meets this guy who comes into the school he's a new kid and he doesn't really talk to anyone either and they both share a relationship which bonds over their love for monstrous sea which is this um this web comic um that gets written and new pages go up every week and Eliza is actually the person who writes it but she doesn't want people to find out that it's her um because she knows that they're if it, they know that it's her it may not be as popular but she is worldwide people dress up as the characters from her fan fiction and they love it so the story just goes through hers and Wallace's who is the new boy who comes to school goes through their relationship and how they build their relationship how it goes from starting to just write down notes and talk to each other to their natural conversations and then actually falling in love and um, obviously then until he finds out that she was the one who wrote it because she does keep it a secret from him through the whole book everything then kind of goes a bit messy and you then have to then discover how they then cope with that. This book was actually a really easy read, I think I read it in like three days. Um, so yeah, it was really really good fun, it was different to what I usually read, it was quite an easy read. It wasn't really that hard to get through, which was really really nice nice easy read really, to get through at the start of the month but no I do did really enjoy this I would recommend this to anyone who just wants a nice easy young adult read um, but is also you you get to see the characters and how they both find themselves and how they explore each other and get to know one another it's really really nice book I gave this book a four out of five stars the second book that I read this month is Far From The Tree by Robin Benway. I absolutely adored this book, can I just start with saying it was absolutely amazing. I knew that it was going to be good anyway because I've heard a lot of good things about it, but when I actually finished reading it I just sat there and I was like wow that was actually amazing. This book follows the main character of Grace who is adopted and when she gives her own baby up for adoption at the age of 16 she then wants to be able to find her birth mother and um, with finding her birth mother she then finds out that she has two siblings. She has a brother called Joaquin who's her older brother and a younger sister called Maya and her adoptive parents help them find each other, help them bond. They find out things about each other that they never would have known. They add, they find siblings in looking for their mum. What I love most about this book is that it's told in three different perspectives. So it's told from each character, each ch each new chapter um, starts with their name so you get it from their point of view which is actually really lovely because say something that happened earlier on in the book that Grace has thoughts on you hear her thoughts and then you then hear how Maya's thinking it and also what I like the most as well is that say for instance when Grace has her chapter you think that Maya's just not really thinking a lot about it and then you then read her chapter and you actually understand what is going on in the character's head and you don't actually you know that it's not actually just 
a load of crap, do you know what I mean? That they're just sat there twiddling their thumbs, you know that there's an actual thought process between that. So I really, really liked how you got to learn about each different character and how you could explore them through the whole journey of getting to know each other and trying to find their birth mother. So yeah, like I've said, I lo absolutely love this book. It was really, really heartfelt. Um, there's a lot of secrets that each character has, which is really, really nice to discover and different stories from past relationships or past experiences that they've all had that they then tell each other and they, they find out different things about each other. So it was a really really lovely book, I did really really enjoy it. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. And the last book that I read this month is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I absolutely adore Morgan Matson. If you've seen any of my videos, like I'll probably say for like the next year, you'll actually know how much I love her and her writing. Just the characters, you see them build as a person individually and in their relationships from the start to the finish of the novel and I absolutely love that. Since You've Been Gone is based on the character of Emily when her best friend Sloane disappears and all she leaves is a note of a list of everything that she wants that she needs Emily to do over the summer which includes like skinny dipping, um, hugging, a uh, James I think it was, just completely random stuff. You know that it's done for a reason and you don't actually know that reason until you then get to the end of the book and you're like okay yeah that makes sense. So for me it was all about how Morgan Matson was exploring the character of Emily. Emily was very very shy, she needed Sloane to bring her out of her shell and everything that Emily did was because that Sloane pushed her to do it and she did it with her, she, she gave her the confidence to be able to do all of those things and obviously without Sloane Emily just felt like that she wasn't really anyone and Sloane's list that she left her made her come out of her shell, made her do things because it, she then had in her head that at the end of her doing all of these things she would get her best friend back. So it was really really lovely to see the character of Emily um, completely expand and change and develop over the course of the book. Every new thing that she does is pushing her personality, pushing her confidence and you actually, you really do feel the change of the character of Emily through from the start to the finish of the book which is what I love most about Morgan Matson's writing is that she really really portrays the change of the characters and the relationships in the characters just through her writing you can really really feel that. I absolutely love this book Um I started it before I went away and I was a bit slow reading it I then finished it while I was away on holiday and I think that I ended up reading like half of it in like two days like it was really really good I really really loved it you then you you want to get to the end because obviously once she's then getting to the end of her list from Sloan you then want to then know if she's going to get her best friend back is she not what's going to happen so I did really really enjoy it and I gave this book a four and a half out of five stars so that's all the books that I read in the month of June I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that I've given you a bit more of an insight to what they're about and my opinions of them and hopefully it will inspire you to go and read them like I probably say in every single one of my wrap ups that I want people to go and read the books that I recommend but it is a really lovely feeling as a booktuber that if you get feedback that people have actually gone and brought the books you've been recommending it's really really nice to hear so I do sincerely hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you do go and buy some of the books because that they are amazing so I will see you next time in my video um, and yeah I hope that you've enjoyed thank you